And now they are desperately trying to return uh, first to their international predominance by waging a new Cold War in terms of arms race, uh, but also and mostly they are waging this Cold War, uh, and it's real Cold War, uh, in order to uh, put uh, uh, things in place back at home, to take uh, back control of the political system, over media, uh, which has become uh, an independent, really independent vehicle uh, for the people uh, whom they believe to be populist, irresponsible, uh, nationalist, corny, etc. Uh, 30 years or 40 years ago, the center of the world was in the Atlantic. Uh, uh, five, seven years ago, we believed that the center of the world would be somewhere in the Pacific. It is clear that the new center of the world is emerging in the uh, in great duration. The economic center of the world is uh, moving fast uh, towards uh, the uh, border between India and China, and that uh, should uh, that is an objective process, a creation of a new big Eurasia, uh, which we have to together. Uh, to build institutionally, to understand and uh, to make as peaceful uh, um, as possible. And it will be built, of course, on uh, very different uh, 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 principles, uh, actual normal principles like uh, total support of sovereignty, uh, freedom of uh, uh, choice of culture, political system uh, for, every, for everybody, uh, and of course connectivity. And growth and, and grow and growth together. I mean, of course, India has to balance, and I couldn't uh, tell India what it should do. Um, it has been uh, conducting a very effective foreign policy for 70 years and, and survived. Uh, well, um, I, I would believe that, and of course it's uh, naturally that he would have good relations with the United States. Eventually, I think Russia uh, would uh, like to have good relations with the United States when we withstand this attack and win. Uh, why not? I mean, it's a powerful, uh, economically powerful state, even if in bad shape and morally now. Uh, but uh, the main uh, trust should be, of course, in building peaceful Eurasia, because no, nobody will do that instead of us. And it is clear, for example, in the case of the Middle East, the United States is living, Europeans are running around, Russia is fighting, and without India and uh, China joining, joining during the next uh, decade, uh, the whole area on which we are very much dependent uh, will go up in flames or go down.